What up, what up, what up? It is your girl, Rana Rea, or Rana Regan, whatever you prefer to call me, as long as you call me something you dig, you dig. I know you dig, and I know it's been a while since you've been digging, but... <sighs> the, the membrane was a little insane. We're okay enough to do this video, okay? If you want a little more backstory on that, I definitely have a video either before this or after this, and I have a few other ones, so I can just make a playlist and then give it to you. But I don't wanna waste too much more time with the filler and the fluff, cause it's been a minute. We have a she in try on haul, but bear with me, bear with me, cause I got a lot of okay? We got accessories, we got tops, we got bottoms, we got sets. We got something with holes in it. So if you're ready, I'm ready, let's get into it. We're gonna start with the tops, we're gonna move to the bottoms, and then we're gonna go to sets. So the first thing we got is this nice bodysuit. This is her, um, yeah, yeah. It is a high cut bodysuit and it's got this little thing that I've been seeing. I don't, I feel like it's a dupe for something, but baby, I don't know nothing about that. This is the plating that's on it. It's poorly stitched, but I paid a couple of dollars for it. So what do you expect? I was hoping that it fit a little bit better than it did. It's got a gaping in the back. It's a snap bodysuit, so I ain't gotta get fully naked to take a piss, so. <laughs> Pros and cons, pros and cons. The second piece, I actually like this one. It's like pleather, but it's not as noisy. It's, it's kind of noisy, but it ain't, it ain't as noisy as it could be. I like this because it has the center piece, like you close it right here. The middle is out. I hope you can see it. The middle is out, honey, and it's stretchy. Look at that. If you got titties, this is gonna be perfectly fine for you. It's supposed to be corset style. Obviously it has no boning or no structure. Oh, actually it has a little, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad I bought this piece. Now, I just felt like I was that in my brain. I was like, this is going to be so cute. It's gonna be futuristic. And then something went wrong. When I pulled it out the wrapper, I was like, am I gonna give futuristic like alien batty or am I gonna give like popcorn bag? You know the one you put on the stove? Am I gonna give that or what? And when I put it on, I definitely confirmed I'm giving popcorn baggy. I don't like it. I do not like this at all for me. Will I do like a little couple pictures in it or something like that? Of course, I definitely will do that. But as far as like wearing this outside for real, fuck no. If you can see the centerpiece, it's kind of, janky it's not very well constructed i do see this working very quickly i think it just doesn't this doesn't fit my shape very well like in my armpit area my boob area like it just doesn't it doesn't give me justice i think i have a rather small frame and i think this was built for someone with a bigger frame bigger arms slightly wider rib cage same size boob though the next top mm, is giving oh yeah, devil, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's this little red, little noisy as the fuck. shirt, okay? It's very cute, it's giving. Don't wear a bra with this cause you're gonna look stupid. I would like to say this is pretty stretchy. Hopefully, let me turn it around so you can see. It's pretty, it has a stretch to it. I feel like this is kind of common sense, but tip, if you're not gonna wear a bra, but you still want your titties to sit the way that God intended them to, just size down size down it would be like a sports bra it would be like a sports bra i think the string could have been a little thicker and it's also pretty hard to get this on with this still staying inside so you might have to unlace it like a few holes but i think it's cute i like it i'm gonna wear it out last top oh it's this black again pleathery top and it's supposed to be like drippy now when i got this um uh, or i looked at it online i was like oh yeah that's gonna look good on me the drips look different online if I recall, or at least the, the outer lining of the cup of the breast was different. I'm not really a fan, I, I don't really care for it. It was kind of hard to get on. It's got a little stretch, but it doesn't have a lot of stretch. So yeah, that's that's the that's it, that's, that's the top. It's nothing special. I might wear it once, twice, who knows? You would know if you, you follow me on Instagram, there's a notification incoming soon. You'd be on there anyways, just follow me. We're gonna move on to the bottoms, okay? <sighs> Bear with me. I'm not gonna lie, I was disappointed in the bottoms. Or maybe I'm disappointed in my own ass. I don't know. Anyway, so I got these little shorts and I be seeing these shorts all the time. And I don't know if it's just me seeing them. It be on like the Latinas, the little Brazilians, the, you know, on like TikTok. 
They always be wearing these booty shorts. I call these the booty shorts. I call these the booty shorts. And after looking at them online, the picture, I was like, oh yeah, I need some of those. Them gonna make my booty look real good. And then when I opened it, I said, something's not right. The pockets are really fucking small. Like it doesn't make sense. The scrunch is cute, but I, the pocket is what makes it weird for me. But at least it stretches and also the top part, the band. Cause look, it's got a little lump right here and I already don't have no hips. In fact, I have hip dips. I don't need no lumps to make my hip dips look more apparent. Baby, stop it. Also y'all, did y'all see that little extra weight? I gave like, like a couple pounds. <laughs> this is the next one. I wanted some more workout leggings. Um, and I was trying to get with the girlies with the V cut. So I got these, they're not olive green. They're definitely a lighter green than that, but I'm not sure what green this is. These leggings. And let me tell you, I don't like them. This is the front. Why is this in the front? I get it, it's cut. Like the back is cut a little lower, but you definitely could have put that like right here. They are very thin, which could be considered good. They're breathable, but trust me, you don't want to be outside wearing no polka dot panties with these. What sexy red say? You like going to the gym? It turn you on? When you wear these, make sure you wear a thong. Sexy red said that, not me. Sexy red said that. Now, when I saw these online, I was like, damn, her booty looks good. So if her booty looks good, this is my girl math. If her booty look good in these pants, if I buy them, it's gonna make my booty look good. I actually failed girl math. This class, I failed with flying colors. I will say the pants are long enough for me and they kind of flare out at the bottom. They don't have no pockets on the butt. Cause look at the butt. Ooh, ain't it cute? Isn't it cute? It's like a little star on the butt. The pockets in the front are functional. And these have stretch too. I didn't need it, but it has stretch. I was hoping that they would make my booty look good like the girls on the girls on the, the Shein website, but it, it just didn't. Mm -mm. The next bottoms that I have, it's this skirt, y'all. I always wanted me a little mini skirt, you feel me? This is the most expensive thing in the haul. Do I feel like it was worth the price? Hell no, nah. because it doesn't fit on me for one and for two, it's a skirt. Anyways, but look how cute it is. It's got the little belt and a zipper on the side. The material is cute though. It's cute, it's giving. And then it also it's got shorts underneath, so you ain't gotta worry about like your booty really being out. But I will say, I think this skirt is slightly designed for you to have a little peekaboo moment. These are kind of cut like panties. It's cut like boy shorts. So if that's something you like, you get the skirt. That was all the tops and bottoms. Now we can move on to the sets. The sets is where I, Okay. <laughs> this was my watch UK. I was like, I need something for a photo shoot or like to take some bomb ass pictures in. It's holy, not holy. It's holy, it got holes in it. So here's the bodysuit. It's given swimsuit. Would I actually wear this as a swimsuit? I don't think so. And I know the concept of it might be hard to grasp because it's literally string, but if you see the front, you will understand. It's high-waisted and it's a thong bodysuit and it's a snap in the middle. And the buckles in the back, are all adjustable, all three of them. The ones that sit on the hips, the middle of the back, and then the bra strap area. Step into your Y2K era. That wasn't that long ago for me. I guess I'm getting old. They saying I'm old, that's crazy. But this was the shit. This, this was the shit. Hello Kitty, pink fucking razors, bedazzled glasses. All this shit is just going back to that. I wasn't old enough to really enjoy that fashion. I wasn't grown in, but now I'm grown so I can just go back. Just a little bit. Y'all gonna have to forgive me because this makeup all around the rim of this dress. I will figure out how to get it off. But golly, it was hard as to get on. I mean, like my ears was ringing. I lost my hearing. I couldn't see. I lost my sight, my taste, my touch. I'm trying to put this dress on. So, uh, it's this. It's giving Catwoman, Batman, bitch. It's short, it's sleeveless, it's stretchy. I like this one because it's it's that same kind of plushy, pleathery material, but it's got a soft finish. It's got a matte finish. See, this is what I was going for with the popcorn on the stove shirt. But it's okay because guess what? We learned our lesson. But I like the way it fit on me. It fit very well. I do believe it's like a dress that you move too much, your little booty will fall out. And if you got a big booty, good luck, Charlie. Your ass gonna be out in the club. Your ass gonna be out in the club. Your friend's gonna have to hold your dress down while you throw ass, so. Don't wear it. Next piece is this black bodysuit, rumper, jumper, jumpsuit. 
whatever y'all call this. It's basic, it's a basic little onesie. It fits really good. I like the fit of this. It makes me feel feminine, like a lady. I was thinking to wear a large overcoat with this, maybe some sneakers, some something like that. I've never been the type to wear one of those checker print shirts, but I might, I might dip in that bag. It's stretchy. It's not really much else to say about it, it's basic. We're onto a few more fitness pieces one pieces and let me tell you i tried to step out but i kind of i shouldn't have <laughs> i got this pink looking ass pepto bismol looking ass one piece and i thought i was gonna eat because the girls on the on the website look so good i will say that it doesn't look as bad as i'm making it seem but it's a little difficult to say that and then was looking in the mirror and just like no i don't like it it's extremely see-through it's super thin it's very, very thin. Whatever underwear you wear, it's gonna be seen through this. So, might wanna keep this one in the house. I don't think I'll ever work out in this. Cause you can't wear a bra with it. I mean, you can, but why would you do that? The whole point of it is that it's a backless V-cut, one piece bodysuit. But it's giving Patrick Star. Anyways, next piece. I saw it on the website, I was like, I gotta have it. I saw it on Shein, I was like, ooh, I need to see how I look in that. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little disappointed in the quality. It's this little one piece, backless V-cut again, jumpsuit all the way down to the ground, all the way down to the ankle. It's thin, it's stretchy, but it's ill-fitted on me. I don't have enough body to fill this one out for some reason. It's like the back strap was like intended to snatch the front forward, but then there's like a flap in the back and I, you'll see it when I put it on. But I do think that I'll keep this one and grow into it because I'm still a growing gal. And the black for some reason fits better. It fits better and I don't, I think it's still the same size, so I don't know why it fits differently. But the black definitely fits better when it comes to the top part. The legs was, was gonna fit regardless. I'm not a hippie yell. But I still made it work. This was cute. Speaking of the black, I got another bodysuit. And I like this one too. Kind of like the pink one, but it's got legs. It's long and the legs kind of flare out. Different material, more of a cotton material. It's stretchy. I think it's see-through, but I'm not sure. But I like the way that this fits because it goes around your neck and around, like, around your back so you can adjust it so it can be tighter. It can bring the girls up. You can let them hang, you can compress you, do whatever, do whatever you want to do. Them your titties, you know what I'm saying? It's a little low cut in the back. It fits me. That's the biggest takeaway. I have long legs, but a shorter torso. I am 5'6 for reference. I'm 5'6 and 130, give or take a few pounds. I have long legs and long arms. Don't try to be funny about it either. Because I will fry your ass. I will cook you real good. So don't do that. Now this one, again, I had high hopes. I was trying... <laughs> I'm trying, it's futuristic, but it's giving Y2K in the same breath. Got this little two piece and it was in chocolate. The color was chocolate. And I was like, ooh, that look good on her. I hope it look good on me. And what I realized is with this set, it's super stretchy. It's very see-through. The top fits the same as the microwave top. And the skirt, it fits and it has a little layer underneath. So it's not as see-through. This is gonna be one of those things that looks better in pictures, ladies. So if you see this on the site, I would personally avoid it unless you're getting it for pictures or getting it for a photo shoot. Do y'all say pajamas or pajamas? Because if you say pajamas... Anyway, so I got this Rick and Morty top. It's a crop top. It's very comfortable. It's regular standard pajamas. But if y'all know me, y'all know I love me some Rick and Morty. That was the top. These are the bottoms. It's so cute. Nice and airy. The drawstring is not functional, y'all. But you really don't need it. It's super stretchy. I got a lot of room, I won't say that much. Speaking of pajamas, cause they're not pajamas. I got uh, another set. I got this Powerpuff Girls sports bra and uh, draws combo. I call them draws cause they mimic draws. They're boy, they're boy shorts or boy cut short. It's not functional cause you know, they don't care about us and they don't wanna see us be great. Cause what if I wanted to, you know, get in there somehow or get in there for whatever reason. Yeah, it's super stretchy. It's super cute. It gives childhood. I love this love the Powerpuff Girls. In kindergarten, my mom had brought a uh, Powerpuff Girl cake to school and I had three figurines on there. Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup on the cake. And I kept Blossom for so long. I don't know what happened to the other two, but I had kept her for so long for like years. And then I lost it. My mom did her big one with that cake. Speaking of cake, God damn it. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but like if you have a you know, if you're of a curvier, the curvier variety, I think this set will look really good on you. So you should get it. Also, it's cute. It's adorable, but it's also, it got, you know, it give grown women a little bit. Next piece. I got this thing and I was like, okay, it looks really cute and classy online and I'm gonna wear this somewhere outside. 
And let me tell you something. When I put it on the first time, I was like, this is not what I ordered. This is absolutely not what I ordered. It does not look like that at all. The material is completely different. The fabric, the sizing, everything is just not what I ordered. Tied it so that it fits better and it still doesn't fit the way I wanted to. But I'm gonna still wear it. Don't get me wrong, I'm gonna still wear it. I might just get it taken in. It's super stretchy. This may, it look, if you a size large, you could fit in this. Of how much stretch it has. It has so, man, it got so much stretch, it's dumb, dumb crazy. The last physical piece or the last bodysuit is this one. It's just a simple gray piece. It's got a little flare leg. These also, surprisingly, it's pretty long, so it fits me. I don't think this one floods. It's soft. It's got the little sticky band to keep it from sliding down. I think it fits pretty well. For me, I felt comfortable wearing it. It also, I feel like it made my little booty look good. So I'm like, okay, okay, I'll wear it. <laughs> so yeah, I'll definitely be wearing this out. I'll be taking pictures in this. This is something I will wear out. Like say for example, I wanna go to a coffee shop or like an event or just something super cute and casual, I'll definitely wear this. Now we can get into these accessories. I, if you haven't noticed with my makeup, I'm very much a cat eye girly. I love a wing, I love the lashes that are upward, but I would always have to cut my lash so it would look a little crazy. If maybe you can tell right now, I cut it and then it goes up in size. So I found some lashes online. I think these are just literally called cat eyelashes. They are super cute to me. I haven't tried them on yet. So maybe if I do put lashes on in enough time, I can show y'all. And these are a lot thinner than the ones I have on, which is great because I'm trying to go less dramatic with the lashes because I don't know, I, I feel like it takes away from my actual eye shape. Well, we just gonna show you all the nails, okay? All right, the only way that I can show you this is I really have to put it on, but I had to give me some big tacky gaudy jewelry. Like, come on, chain gang, hold on. What's my motherfucking name? Reyna, okay, so I got an R. I think it's really cute. It's giving ghetto fabulous, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's giving, I got a rap career loading. I'm not the bitch that raps in the video. I'm the bitch that's dancing in the video, okay? Y'all, look, you just don't get it. I be, I crump your ass off, boy. So I got it, and this color, baby, is cute too. Hold on. This is cute. Tell me it's not cute. Doing way too much, but that's the point. It's giving statement piece, okay? So I got these rings. I don't know if you can tell, but they're all snake rings and they're black because I don't know. I just like this dark aesthetic. I love snake jewelry. It gets me every time. That bitch when I'm up in the function. Yeah. So also, we have a snake earring and I'm not gonna be taking it out the package. I'll just show you. I'm going to record this and show you what I mean, but like, it goes around the ear. It's so cute. It's like snaky. Like, ugh. snakes just give grown and sexy. And I know that sounds bad, and y'all probably looking at me like, oh, watch her. But like, no, it's just something about, you know, things that live in my hair rent free. If y'all ever watched, like, The Mummy, I think that's the name of the movie, The Mummy. And the girl was pulling the snakes out the. Ugh, that was a bad bitch. Like, she was a bad bitch. Britney Spears, bad bitch with the snakes. Like, hello? Like, now, I got these with the intention of them being hair sticks. I got this little jagger with the red tip. I know this is different, y'all, trust me. I know it's different. I'm not here to be like everybody else. I got two of these, cause I'm gonna stick them in my bun. I might have to get some more hair, cause you know, I, my hair not really long enough for a bun. My head too big and my body too small. So I got some gold hoops because I didn't have any. The hoops that I did have that was gold, they definitely turned brassy, like copper-like. But that's gonna conclude this video. I hope y'all liked all the shit that I bought and all the shit I showed you. Cause I'm doing this for me, but I'm doing this for y'all, okay? And if y'all tired of seeing she in, then give me recommendations about where you wanna see me buy clothes from so you can see how they fit. And that's about all I can say, so bye.
Oh, wait. I have a quick question. One question. I'm pretty sure that's not how you say question in Spanish. I think it's pregunta. But I got one question for y'all. Who gonna pop me? Who is going to pop me? <gasps> that's right. That's right. No freaking body. Now y'all can have a good night.